And as if being battered by political turmoil wasn't enough, Ukrainians are now braced for a rollout of painful austerity measures. In the East, which is an industrial hub and key sector of the country's economy, people are already on edge, staging rallies and going on strikes. The Donetsk and Lugansk regions are also currently hotspots for anti-Kiev unrest. What you can see here are the local mines, and they make up to 20 percent of the country's gross domestic product. RT's Paulus Lear when they're to find out what's driving people to the edge. Tempers are flaring. For two straight days, these miners have been here on strike, demanding to see management. As the minutes climb, so does their anger. It's a scene playing out across Ukraine. Fury that salary payments are late and cough up too little to live on. We're not sure exactly what's happening, but the car has moved forward to try and get into this room. I have one question. How come they don't give people a job? What are we supposed to do now? Steal? Turn to drugs? Rob people? How come they don't give us work? This young man's wife is pregnant. He's livid. He needs to borrow money just to take her and their four-year-old to the beach. Can you imagine how it is to provide a family with 3,000 grievances a month? No? Well, a meeting of the representatives of the mine has been broken up. As you can see, people have stormed into the meeting. There are tempers flying. Everybody's trying to speak at the same time. Everybody's shouting. Now, it's almost as if a fist fight is going to break out, and it's difficult to tell exactly what's going on. But at the same time, people really, really angry, people very, very frustrated. And right now, you see one of the main bosses of the mine walking out. I think he might be afraid. And he has reason to be. The government's pushing to privatize 45 coal mines, leaving those who toil in the dungeons of the earth up in arms. They're convinced it'll be the fat cats who'll benefit, leaving workers high and dry. Those in Kiev would do well to remember that almost half the country's industrial output comes from here. Coal alone is 30 percent of the Ukraine's energy consumption. Uh, so if this reason, this unrest continues uh, and this uh, regime that has taken power in Kiev is not able to control this region, uh, both in terms of um, uh, e economics and in terms of energy, uh, would uh, really make it almost impossible for this regime to uh, last very long. People here want independence. They say they're tired of feeding the country and getting nothing in return. None of those we speak to want closer integration with the EU, fearing the mines could be shut down. As to the leadership in Kiev... We have no leader and nobody can lead and calm these people down. A message the current government would do well to heed. Polislia RT, Krasnodonogol coal mine, eastern Ukraine. Now, there are over 100,000 employees connected to coalers in eastern Ukraine. And if they turn, it will deal an enormous blow to Ukraine, as political analyst Daniel Patrick Welch explains. It is a, a, a sleeping giant that has now been awakened. And I think that it's a, it's a, a, a sign of the rebellion deepening and broadening, in, including more sectors of society and politicizing these previously unpoliticized groups of people. They could just go on strike and basically shut down the economy. That would have an enormous chilling effect. The need to control this area is extremely important for the future and the Western NATO and the EU and their, their puppets in, in Kiev, Yatsenyuk and Turchinov and all these people, have made an enormous mistake by antagonizing the, uh, in general, the population, the politically active population in the East, but increasingly now the miners, the workers who produce this product. It's unbelievably stupid, in my opinion.